So a few months ago, I watched this Asian dude named Kokai starve himself for two days to try to get his money's worth at an all-you-can-eat restaurant. And it was absolutely hilarious. He even recognizes at the end of the video that what he did was not the correct strategy to use. The way that you're actually supposed to eat a lot has nothing to do with starving yourself. It has everything to do with eating foods that help your stomach stretch. So I thought to myself, what if I tried to expand my stomach? I've been scanned by buffets in the past. They attract me to the beautifully presented carbs in the front. So this would be the perfect opportunity to get my revenge. This would be a tricky task. First, I actually don't eat that much. Well, at least compared to my brother, who I will be going to the buffet with later in the video. And second, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I immediately started doing research and eventually stumbled on a perfectly legitimate guide for what you should do 24 hours before an eating competition. I made plan inflate stomach and was ready to execute. First, I drank water throughout the entire day. I drank around one liter of water at 8 a.m. And then waiting in three hour increments, I chugged half to one liter of water again at 11 a.m. Between the three hours, I occasionally took sips of water. I want to emphasize that H2O poisoning is real and a big concern. I, I feel quite full from the water, right? Because I just chugged a bunch of water, but I feel quite hungry at the same time. It's a very strange feeling. My, fe my stomach is feeling very hungry and full. That morning, I honestly felt very hungry because I needed to skip breakfast to wait for the max out meal max out meal. It didn't help that my mom was making pasta. Th this is not supposed to be a fast, but I woke up at 5 a.m. to film a different video. And because of that, I am so hungry. I've gone seven hours without food at the moment. It's 12 p.m. So it is around 2.12 right now. The plan is to finally eat my meal. For some reason, I'm not that hungry. I am so hungry. I am so hungry. It is time. The guide recommends that I eat a max out meal 18 to 22 hours before the time I plan to eat. So I have an assortment of lower calorie stomach training food, like broccoli, lettuce, and grapes. And the goal is to eat 1.5 kilograms or three pounds of this. You know what, I'm ready to do this. I will scam this all you can eat restaurant. It's time, I'm hyped, I have to hype myself. I'm excited to do this, let's do this. This is like a salad, you know? Yeah, it's like a salad. Now let's go, the vegetables taste good, yes. The vegetables taste good. The vegetables taste good. Why am I chewing so slowly? Like, I mean, it's a good thing, but like, man. There's a fly. There's a fly in here. Get out. Get out. If I didn't click on that Code Kai video, I wouldn't be doing this right now. My brain is saying don't eat more vegetables. I think I might quit after this. You know, I already did this. It was not fun, but I'm kind of proud of myself. This is what's left of the broccoli. Left of the spinach. <laughs> I can't really evaluate grapes, but then this is the carrots. I drank 24 ounces of water. My stomach definitely felt like it got bigger. Oh no, no, I'm good. That was my last meal till tomorrow morning. I peacefully drank water throughout the rest of the night, not chugging. It's gonna play out perfectly tomorrow, mark my words. I'm gonna sleep by 11, because I need to do some schoolwork, and then in the morning, boom. At 8 a.m., I immediately drank half a liter of water, which is something I do normally. One hour later, I ate yogurt, which is a liquid breakfast. Very liquidy, as intended. Then drank some water afterwards. One hour later, I decided to exercise. After I exercise, I get really hungry, so this is ideal, you know? And then it was time. Determination and lots of water flowed through my veins. The water, the vegetables, the yogurt, the water, the exercise, the water. Would it all be worth it in the end? So who's eating more? I'm definitely eating more. That thing stops the man from his bulk. So we were about to enter the buffet. My brother said with his own words that he expects to eat more than me. But little does he know, I'm literally gonna be unstoppable.
So in Code Kai's video, he ate 40 pieces of sashimi because that was the most expensive item. At the buffet I went to, this was definitely the case. They actually restricted the number of sashimis I could order to 8 pieces. They knew they didn't want me to scam them. Is that the sashimi? Oh, that's the sashimi? Last sashimi. So after the sashimi, the next most expensive item had to be a meat of some sort. So I searched on Google and turns out usually beef is a bit more expensive than chicken or pork. So, you know what I had to do. Look at this scrub, eating chicken. Not the most expensive meat on the menu. This is enjoyable to you. It's very... Why don't you get bored of beef? <laughs> Third order. <laughs> Wait, what? Is he tired? No. So I was devouring beef left and right. I was legitimately having meat sweats once the third order of beef came. For some reason, my mind kept thinking about Nathan Doan's video of him ordering beef briskets at a buffet. How did you finish it that fast? Can I request another order of brisket, please? 38 minutes. Huh? I have been eating briskets for 38 minutes, meaning I still have 82 minutes to consume briskets. I wonder why. By the fourth order, we noticed a problem. This is two portions. This is five portions. They're the same. <laughs> My brother and I eventually noticed that no matter what number we wrote next to the meat, they would give us back the same portion based on the number of people at our table. This meant that even though we were writing smaller numbers for the pork and chicken, he was getting a similar portion to the beef. Look at order one. He ordered chicken, pork, and spicy pork. So he was basically eating the same amount as me because I ordered beef three times. So we decided on this agreement at the fourth order. Saying if I finish this plate, I win. No. <laughs> so they tie if I finish this? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's so long. <laughs> and suddenly, in the middle of eating the fourth order, I started feeling full. But I had to push through to finish the beef and some of the side dishes. There's nine beef slices left and one chicken and all these sides. It went to the point where it felt mentally hard to swallow the beef. See, that one swallows spice. You just don't want to eat the beef. After 40 pieces, it's over. <laughs> I need more water to swallow the last beef. <laughs> and we're officially tied. Debrief. So, so basically what happened was every time I wrote like a 5 or a 7 for beef, right, they'd give the same portion of beef and I asked them why and they, they said it's just how it works. I think essentially I ate like 10 slices of beef every plate, right? Like 10. Yeah, 10 slices. Well, let's say 10. So essentially I ate like 40 plus slices of beef. Whatever I did actually helped because I ate more than I would have for sure. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you want to do this, I would say do it with caution. Remember that water poisoning is real. The guide actually explained everything very well and they also noted a lot of safety stuff. So do things with caution. That's my main thing. The main takeaway, do things with caution.